You know, when I was abroad, they go, Debbie, where are you from? Is there any more like you? So I go, yes, we're from St. Helena. Where is St. Helena? And then I go, have you ever heard of Napoleon? Yes, was that the place he was exiled? And then I think they have this picture of this horrible old little place with Napoleon being a prisoner there. And then you try and explain, no, this is how St. Helena is. Small, it's unique, people are friendly, you would love it. So I'm the manager here of Plantation House, so I goes around and I have a look. I come over here and I check the silver. So far so good. But this is the original chandelier from Napoleon's house. When you come in this room, you hear a lots of argument going on because you've got Napoleon there and you've got Sir Hudson Lowe there. And if you look at those two portraits, they're not looking at each other, look. They're not seeing eye to eye. And I'm thinking, Oh, what did really go on when he was a prisoner and he was a governor? It was nice to go back to those years and live there, but we can only go by the stories. This is also a nice room, isn't it? Look. This is part of plantation furniture, but it hasn't been played for a very, very long time. No, not very good. Needs tuning. <laughs> now this is Jonathan. Hello, Jonathan. Jonathan is the tortoise that was brought here to Plantation House in 1882. Jonathan is the oldest inhabitant here. If it's not the whole world, it's definitely in St. Helena. Now, he likes to be tickled. Come on. No. Oh, I bet you can tell some stories. He's seen some governors and their wives and different staff. 186 and still very, very active, eh? Huh? Oh, poor Emma. Jonathan likes to meet with Emma all the time. Oh my God, so it's hope for us yet at 186 years old. This is my little station here. What do you think of this? This was in 2007, when all of my family was together. It's five generations there. And my grandma, she was one week before she was 102, before she passed on. So I wonder if I've got those genes, maybe. This book can tell you, everybody else looking all right, and here I am, <laughs> lifting up the skirt, showing the old days under the look, and everybody was in their audience laughing. And I found like I was happy, making other people happy and laugh. It's a good medicine of making people happy and and laughing. So that's what you want to do, isn't it? Mm -hmm.